Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video I have a lash stash and declutter video for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's pull some of these extra things away. I wanted to kind of have something nice to open with, but I'm going to go ahead and start. These are the current items that are in my makeup table, my makeup bag. I have the Maybelline Sky High Mascara full size, which so far I kind of like it. It's not my favorite, but I like it. So I'm going to keep that. And I'm also using a small, very tiny, um, mini Urban Decay version lash primer. I think this is about dried out, so I am going to go ahead and declutter it, as well as the NARS. This is a deluxe uh, climax mascara and there's nothing wrong with it it's it's okay I just I don't love the wand I don't love the formula I mean it's a nice it's an okay formula it's a very um, wet mascara but the brush is just really it's a I think it's a metal comb and I just don't love it so in my backup here I have a lot of mascaras. I have two lash primers. Uh, they're both by Tarte, the opening act. I went ahead and I got two of the um, travel size because I don't go through lash primers that often and so I had wanted them originally for colorful mascara but I ended up decluttering those so I just have these laying around. So I'll use those and keep those eventually. I do have a lot of ooh, runaway mascara primer. I do have a lot of minis. I prefer minis overall in general uh, because I feel like I get to try more and use them up before they run out. Oh, this one is just going to be ornery, so let's fix that there. I do have a full-size Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I really do love this mascara. This will be the next one that I open up in a couple of months when I'm finished with my Sky High. I also really love this Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I'm not going to open it, but um, I love the brush. I love the formula, so I'm going to keep that. All of these things I think I'm going to keep, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I also have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, which I have not gotten to try yet, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I also have not tried the IT Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara, so I'm excited to try that. Actually, I think aside from, oh yeah, I have two of the Damn Girl mascaras, so I have these two that I'm going to keep set aside. And all the rest of these I have not yet tried, so I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm looking forward to trying the IT Cosmetics. I also have the Morphe Make It Big mini. I have not opened this, but yeah. Okay, there's another one. I have the uh, Lancome Idol Lash. have not tried this. It's supposed to be a lash, lash lifting mascara. Um, so yeah, that looks kind of like the um, brush that I'm kind of okay with. Uh, this one's open. This is the uh, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Extreme Black Mascara. Whoopsie daisy. Can we get out of focus here, please? There we go. And um, yeah, since this one is out of a box, it just arrived this way. So I'll put that into one that I use up very soon. Last, I have the Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Mascara. I've not used this before. I have used the Grande Lash Primer and it smelled so bad and irritated my eyes so bad. So I might open this one up very soon um, to see if it has that same odor. And if it does, it's going to get to, you know what? Let me go ahead and open it now and give it a smell test because the lash primer was really, really awful. I could not use it. Is it sealed? Yes, it's sealed. But the lash primer was really bad. It irritated my eyes, and I don't generally have sensitive eyes, but it was it was pretty potent. Oh, goodness. All right, so... All right, this is a black mascara. Typical wand. Let me, let me give it a smell. 
All right, it doesn't have an odor, so that's good. Well, now that it's open, I guess it's gonna go in my makeup bag for the next round. So let me just chuck that. Next up, I have the last two mascaras. I have the KVD Vegan Beauty Go Big or Go Home mascara, which has been out for a little while and I have not tried it yet. And I also have the Urban Decay Lash Freak, which is, I think, about a year old. Maybe, maybe less than a year old. I can't remember when this came out. But it has a really interesting looking wand. And um, I hear it's actually pretty good, so I'm excited to use that as well. So I have quite a few mascaras and two lash primers. Let me go ahead and clear these off. And let's get into the lashes lashes. So in my little case here, this is a House of Lashes um, travel case. It opens up, it has a mirror, it has lights inside, but I need to replace the batteries in it. I think it takes, yeah, it takes those two button batteries. Really easy to replace. But I have two of my favorite lashes in here. This is a pair of the Noir Fairy Blacks. Um, and these are, what are they? I have the empty, the empty box in here somewhere. Noir Fairy Blacks and... I don't know. I don't know where the other box is. So I'm not sure what these are, but once I figure it out, I'll let you know. These I need to clean because they are quite dirty. I love these lashes so much, but the the Noir Fairies especially are looking a little bit, a little bit glittery and gross. And these have a little bit of um, shimmer duochrome color on them. So I'll need to clean those off. And then this is the box for my Noir Fairy Blacks. I don't know why I keep the empty boxes, but I do. So this is the current storage that I have for my lash stash. It was a lash wardrobe from Sephora. I have since used up most of these things, some of them, and I just kept the box because it fits nicely in my drawer. So inside I have my one and only pair of colored rain lashes. These are in the shade CR15. They are a really pretty, long, fluffy, neutral lash. Really enjoy those. And then here you can see a well-worn pair of Wispy Minis. These are one of my favorite, favorite pairs. I also have a pair of House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I've only worn these a couple of times. You can see I've got the trimmings in there. Um, I keep the trimmings just in case I want to do like a single um, lash or uh, a lower lash line fun thing. But these are really pretty and they're a reason they are a cult favorite. I also have by House of Lashes a pair of the Serene Lights. And those are really pretty. They're nice and long. I actually have not worn these yet. Those are brand new, so I'm going to keep those aside. And then here I have this pair of lashes that I bought. What is the brand? Are these Wet n Wilds? These might be Wet n Wilds, but I bought these and I bought these. Witchin and Batgirl. I bought these after Halloween last year. They went on clearance for like a dollar. And I'm kind of bummed about these. So they have a really heavy, thick band on them, which doesn't bother me too much. Sorry, let me see if I can get this to focus. And it's, that's not what bothers me. What bothers me is the glue was so spread down the lash here that it was starting to tear up the lash band. I don't know if I can get that to focus there to, to show you fully. But yeah, you can sort of see, look at how shiny, you see that shiny bit right there? That's just glue from taking it off the package. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter these because I just don't feel like messing with them anymore to try to get all that glue off of the back. And on this side, one of the um, strips that held it, held the lashes together came off. So they just... I'm just going to get rid of these. They're, they're garbage. All right, the clutter pile. And these are uh, in very obviously the style Witchin. And 
again, these, I don't know what to think about these. They're okay. Um, they have a very thick pokey band, but again, um, again with the glue. I don't know. I can't decide. They're super cheap lashes. I haven't worn them since I bought them. You know what? I have some nicer ones. I'm going to chuck these two. These are going to go, these are going to, yeah, these are going to get decluttered. So, all right. Next, I have this pair of Scarlet Lashes from Huda Beauty, and I've not worn these yet. These are really dramatic lashes. They came in, they're like double and triple boxed here. It's kind of ridiculous. But the Huda Lashes come with a little lash guide, which is nice. Um, but these are pretty, but they're very dramatic. And mm, I'm not sure if I'm going to wear these. I've had them for over a year now and I haven't worn them once. So chances are good I probably won't wear them. But I'm going to keep them around just a little bit longer. Next, I'm going to put, you know what? Let's, let's start a maybe pile. I'm going to start a maybe pile right over here on this side. Okay. Up next, I have a pair of House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. And these are so pretty. But look at that thick band in there. Can you see that thick band? Um... They're nice looking. I have not worn these yet. I'm not sure if I will wear them. I'm going to put those in the maybe pile too. They're really pretty though. Next up, I have a pair of Kiss Page Boy lashes. These have an invisible band and they're very, th it's a very thin, um, a thin band, but they're nice and wispy and I really enjoy wispy lashes. I have not worn these yet. But I like this style. I like how lightweight they are. I'm going to keep those. Next up, I have a pair of Ardell Dark Maiden lashes. It came with a pair of top and bottom lashes. Um, just like these spooky, mesmerizing. Let's, yeah. See, I have Dark Maiden here. And I have um, Mesmerizing here. And I probably put these in upside down. But I think I'm going to declutter... I think I'm going to declutter these because I'm not going to wear those. And I think, let me take these out and look at these. Yeah, I mean, I probably put those in there upside down. But they're, yeah, again with the glue. Some of these costume, these costume lashes are, okay, they frustrate me. Because one, they are really pretty designs. I mean... This is a really nice wispy flare. Come on, let me get them to focus here. Yeah, it's really nice and wispy, but then you look at these bands and they are sharp and the, the glue is messy. The prepackaged glue is super messy. And I think the retail price on these was like six bucks, which I mean, you get what you pay for. But at the same time, there are some really affordable lashes that are a lot nicer than these and I've never worn those. I'm not going to wear these. I'm, I'm just going to declutter these. I've had these for too long now. So they're so pretty, but they're just trash. I mean, I guess if you're only expecting to wear them one night, they'd be fine, but they're, they're uncomfortable. They're very uncomfortable. I'm going to declutter those. All right. Up next, I have my other very favorite pair. These are the Ethereal Minis by House of Lashes. Another small pair, nice and delicate, wispy, layered. I love those. And next, I have a pair of... These are... Oh, I even wrote it on the back. They're the Salon Perfect Lash Glam 614s. Um, yeah, these are really nice, too. Again, they've got that thin, invisible band. They're nice and long and wispy. These. This was one of the first pair of lashes I ever bought. These are the lashes that made me love false lashes. So... They stay. Oh, look, an extra cream gel liner in the shade Electric Daisy. That stays too. I also have this four pack of, I don't even know, eye lures. Are these, are these eye lures? Yeah, no, Eileen's. These are just a Walmart pair of, or thingy of lashes. I don't love these. Those are going. Those are decluttered. And last in this box, I have the Variety Pack 4 pair of Ardell Lashes. 
see these styles are going to be nice replacements for the ones that I just decluttered some nice dramatic lashes some weird lash glue and some more um more natural lashes and these are a good brand so I'm going to keep these all right um let me see those are my maybe piles so let's I'm just gonna pile all these in here while we get through these next these next two boxes up next, I have my Sephora Mood Vault. I'm keeping all of these. Um, this is the Mood False Lash Vault. I bought this a few years ago. I think the retail price on it was $40. I bought it when it was going on, maybe I think I got it when it was on clearance for $20. I know I paid, it was a reasonable price. And even at $40, that's only $5 per pair of lash. And these are really good lashes. I've long since used up these two, which I believe are the Swankies and the Demures. Those are, no, maybe the Demures. I think, I think the Demures are the ones that are in my, in my thingy. I think that's what those are. That's probably what those are. Yeah. I don't know. I know that I accidentally ruined one of these pair when I tried to clean them. Uh, when I tried to clean them a few years ago. But all of these are so pretty. I love the hipsters. I love the celebrity lashes. These are so fun. They're just so big and fluffy. I love those. Um, and these are my other favorite pair in here as well. But they have different band, band lengths. You know, this one is very much a thicker band. And these are thinner bands. And that's a very thin band up the top too. And this was a very nice vault. I wish, I wish they would come back out with this again. I loved this one. So this one, they're all saying, and that one stays in its own little box because it's convenient. And last are my brand new lashes. All of the ones that just came into my collection this year from the lash day sales. So these are the Ardell Foam Ink Wispies. They are so pretty and I'm really looking forward to wearing these. These are lovely. Next we have the uh, Blinking Beauté Celebutante Lashes. These are self-adhesive, so I'm really excited to try these because they are a really pretty style. They kind of flare out here just a little bit and you can tell where the inner corner is as opposed to the outside. So it's very easy um, to look at them and know which one's going to go where on your on your lid when you're putting them on. Um, and yeah, these are really pretty. So it's got uh, the liner band contains adhesive already. So these will be interesting to try. Maybe I'll do, I'll try these on in a video. I'm not sure yet. And then I have my lash, uh, my boudoir lights, which are the lighter version of the other set that I have. They're just a little bit thinner. Let me show you the, com let me compare them for you. If I can find them. Where are they? No. Yeah, they're right here. They were in my maybe pile. Okay. So this is the boudoir and this is the boudoir light. And as you can see, um, the difference is these are just, the lights are just a little bit thinner. Uh, these are definitely a lot thicker. So there's more to them. You know what? I'm going to keep this one. Look at them both together side by side. I'm going to keep them. Yeah, I'm going to keep them. They get to stay. All right, and then for my, my lash ruler, which has been really interesting to use. I've only used it once, uh, but it's nice too. The lash ruler, it comes with its own little guide in here. It shows you exactly how to use it. You can measure your lashes and... Put them on and then if you wanted to use a permanent marker you could use that so you always know where to cut your lashes handy little tool i threw it in so that i could get free shipping on my order and then you know they came with a lash guide in case you are a visual or textual learner that'll stay and then my lash glue and then my siren flares these are so pretty they're little Little chunky you can see those nice little spaces between the lash lash clumps those are so pretty and then the free pair that I got were the Natalia's these are really pretty I can see the layers in between the 
lash the lashes here. I don't know if you can see the layers in there, but that's really pretty. I love the 3D effect. There's, it's not just one thing of lashes. It looks like they're stacked. You can definitely see that three dimension in there. Those are so pretty. Those will be really nice. Next, I have the ethereal lights. I have the ethereal minis. Those are one of my favorites, and these ethereal lights are gorgeous. I can't wait to wear these as well. Maybe I'll put those on today. I don't know. I haven't decided. And is this the last one? No, I have a whole stack underneath here. So also we have the another pair of the Noir Fairy Blacks. So these are definitely going to stay because these will replace my other favorite, well, my current favorites that I have now. I already have these, but this is my backup pair. So that'll stay because my current Noir Fairies are, Noir Fairy Blacks are not going to, they don't have much life left in them. Up next, I have the Iconics, and let me go ahead and show you the difference between the Iconics. Nope, those are the Serene Lights. Where are they? Here we go. Okay, so these are the Iconics, and these are the Iconic Lights. So basically, they're just a little bit thinner. Not really thinner, but um, you can see there's fewer hairs. There's more um, space there. I, I don't know how to describe that. I can't think. I'm just thinking like in hair cutting terms, you know, when they thin your hair, when they use those sideways triangles, sideways snips, that's kind of what I, I think of here. Anyway, those are really pretty. And these, these are the ones that inspired this video. These are the starlet lashes and they are, they are dramatic. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep these. I'm not sure if these are my style. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put those on the maybe pile because I'm not really sure if I like those. Then I have the Pixie Minis. These are so cute. I love the mini lashes. And I have the Natalia Minis. And let me show you the comparison between the Natalia Minis and the Natalias. So here are the Natalias on the bottom and the Natalia Minis on top. Again, they look a little sparser, a little more natural, but they are put in the same shape as the Natalia's with the cross, um, you know, that they're cross haired and, um, they're just a little bit, they look like one layer as opposed to multi-layered, but even, but even these look like they are multi-layered. They're just a little bit different, a little lighter. And lastly, I have the Mon Cherry, um, lashes and I don't think these are actually supposed to be mini. I just think that this is how they come in and you can tell the difference, um, when I say, one layer as opposed to two multi-layered here. These look like they're a little bit fluffier and these just look like they're one, one little scoop of lash. Really pretty. Um, I like these two, so those are all gonna stay. So all in all, uh, I've got these two pair that I'm not really sure about, the Scarlet and the Star, the Scarlet and the Starlet. That's funny. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I wanna keep them or not. These ones do feel kind of plasticky. Let me show you what I mean. They just kind of feel a little bit plasticky. Yeah, they're, um, I don't know, they just don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll declutter these. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter these. I don't like those. These I think I do wanna give a chance because they are pretty. They're not as layered like I like them to be, but they are kind of dramatic and I do like those. Okay, I'm so sorry. I realized as I was finishing up that it was out of focus while I was trying to arrange these. So everything fits now in my, my lash sash box, except for my mascaras. So I'm going to have to put those, you know what, maybe I'll put those in this really pretty Make Waves, um, this little bag, because I had no place to put them before. Well, this is a bigger bag than I thought it was. All right. Bigger on the inside. All right. So let me go ahead and put all my mascaras in here. In this bag. And it'll go in a drawer. All right. I think I'll go ahead and I'll put my spare electric daisy in there. And I'll find a home for that. And this will go back in my drawer. I will leave these out to be cleaned. Oops, sorry, excuse me. So all of my lashes now fit in here. 
and again the mood vault will stay in its place and my two current lashes out here and then I have my spare I don't know why I keep this box maybe I'll just I don't know I'll put that somewhere so here are all of the items I'm decluttering now I'm getting rid of these lashes these Eileen's I'm getting rid of my spooky lashes both boxes, the Dark Maiden and the Mesmerizing. I'm getting rid of the Batgirl and the Witchin lashes. And I am going to go ahead and declutter the Climax and the Mini Subversion. So small declutter, um, but that's that's the way it goes. I, if you notice the theme here, I did get rid of all of my drugstore cheapest lashes, the Halloween specials. And just this box of, I mean, these would be fine for beginners. Um, there's nothing wrong with these lashes. I just don't ever wear these. And I have plenty of other styles, as you saw, that I prefer over these. So these would be um, good beginner lashes. But since I have other things that I prefer, um, I'm going to get rid of these. Because I know that I won't, I won't wear them. So that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pair of lashes and two little bits. Um, yeah, so that's the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, go ahead and give me a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. But thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. See you next time.